Last night was the big opening day of Police State and boy, uh, the reviews are coming in and they are fantastic. We set kind of high expectations for the movie. The trailer, of course, was really powerful. And so people came expecting to see a heck of a movie. And I'm really glad to, to say, to be able to say that they did. They, uh, so many reports coming in from around the country, people just mesmerized by the film, deeply moved by it. I've heard a number of reports of like people crying in the theater at the end of the film, people also applauding the closing scene, which involves basically a bunch of January 6th defendants singing the national anthem, has other, has the audience joining in, but joining in not just jubilantly or triumphantly, but also with a sense of poignancy and sadness. This is the overwhelming intellectual and emotional, perhaps even moral effect uh, of this uh, of this film. Now, why is the film striking such a chord? Well, I think it's because it has a lot of new information and it also puts the story together in a way that hasn't been done. We're familiar with censorship. We're familiar with Trump, targeting of Trump, political targeting January 6th. But to thread all this in a way that that brings a single point powerfully home, I think that is the real uh, strength of this movie and of the team that helped to, you know, I get 90% or 99% of the credit, but it's not fair because it's Debbie, it's Bruce Schooley, my friend and partner, it's a bunch of others. We're all kind of in this together and we put this, um, this is a, a kind of a team, uh, a team enterprise. The other thing that films do, and this film does well in particular, but films in general do this, and that is show, not tell. It's one thing to tell someone this is what's going on, and there's a certain emotional reluctance to believe it. Why? Because you don't feel it. Now, obviously, the people who have felt the police state, who have experienced it, hey, there's a helicopter over our house. What's going on? There's someone banging our door. So, oh, my gosh, our door has been kicked in. When that happens to you, you change. You realize, wow, this is a different America I'm living in. But if it hasn't happened to you and people just tell you about it, you're like, yeah. Uh, but we, but what a movie can do is have you experience it. It's the next best thing. It is, it is a vicarious but very real experience of see, seeing people describe what happened to them. And then they show you the body cam footage, the surveillance footage, or we recreate it with clinical accuracy. By the way, we hired a couple of FBI consultants to help us with this movie so that our recreations would be so vivid and so on point that anybody in the FBI or DHS or DOJ or law enforcement watching the movie would be like, uh, yeah, that's, that is the way it would go down. So, so this is a movie with a, with a great deal of authenticity uh, to it. And, um, and, uh, you know, I can't deny that another element of this is just the way it is shot, the cinematography, and finally the music. Music is a, almost the, it's the emotional track of a movie because it, in a sense, instructs you through music. A marvelous thing that mu music can do kind of tells you how to feel about what you are seeing in the film. We pay a lot of attention to music. Actually, Debbie, who's been a musician most of her life, she was actually singing on TV and a show in Venezuela at the age of three so Debbie collaborates with the guy who does our music. His name is Brian Miller. He's really a musical genius. So the music in this film, uh, and particularly the closing song, has Brian's, Brian's orchestration and Brian's work, but Debbie's fingerprints are also uh, all over it. The movie is um, in theaters one more day, which is tomorrow. Wednesday, October 25th. So if you can see it in a theater, that is the way to see it. I, we make these films for the theater. It's very cinematic. The people who see it in a the theater have a unique type of experience. So if you can go, you should. Go to policestatefilm.net, put in your zip code, boom, the theaters around you will pop up. The theaters have been selling out fast, but there are tickets available for tomorrow. So absolutely go if you can. If you can't go, there's a fallback option, and that is you'll be the first person to see the nationwide screening of the film. It's the virtual premiere. What we mean by virtual premiere is we're going to show the film, and you can watch it online. You can watch it from home, uh, and you can watch it with your family. So you're, you're getting the full experience for the price of buying a ticket, buying a movie ticket. So again, the tickets for the virtual premiere are at policestatefilm.net. You'll see a little tab that says virtual premiere. You click on the tab and you can buy a ticket and you're good to go. 
Uh, the cool thing is Forgiato Blow. Uh, his song, Police State Survivor, is the closing song in the credits, but he's going to open the um, the evening by performing that song live. Then we show the full movie, and then Dan Bongino and I will have a Q&A to follow. So all of that for the price of a movie ticket is actually a great deal. We do it out of a spectacular studio in Las Vegas, but you are watching and participating, participating in the sense that you can offer comments online and we will see those up on a wall and those might be some of the questions that we that we talk about. So it's like a giant Zoom meeting, says Debbie, except with 2,000 meals, we had 80,000 people. We're going to have a big number again. It's going to be a marvelous experience and you're going to be the first people on a nationwide basis to watch this film digitally virtual premiere on Friday, October 27th. Once again, it's policestatefilm.net. Mike Lindell just keeps on introducing great deals. He's featuring the new My Towels. Now, save 50% on the six-piece towel set. The regular price is $59.96, but now for a limited time, $29.98 with promo code Dinesh. Debbie and I have Mike's My Towels all over the house. We love them for ourselves. We also like to get them as Christmas presents, so there's an idea for you. My Towels six-piece set includes two bath towels, two hand towels, two washcloths, the long staple length of the shipper cotton fibers makes these towels very soft because of the long fibers. They wrap around each other more easily, creating a very smooth and soft fabric. It's soft to the touch without the kind of lotion-y feel. And they're also super absorbent. So take advantage of the 50% off on the six-piece towel set. Call 800-876-0227. The number again, 800-876-0227. Or just go to MyPillow.com. Make sure to use the promo code D-I-N-E-S-H-Dinesh.